Hey y'all, welcome back for another What's For Dinner video. I'm Courtney if you're new here and I try to post these What's For Dinner videos every week here on my channel to hopefully give you some new meal inspiration and mainly just to, you know, share what our family of four has throughout the week. So if you like that kind of content, then I would hope that you would subscribe and stick around so you don't miss out. At the end of the video, I will also be sharing a little bit of info on a giveaway that's currently going on on my channel as well as some info, just like a little chit chat of something else that I've got going on. So if you want to hear about that, then stick around till the end. So for the first meal that I'm going to be sharing, it's going to be some honey barbecue boneless chicken poppers basically. And it's really simple to make, but absolutely delicious. There's a sauce that goes on the end. Yummy. To make this, I've got one and a half chicken breast here that I'll cut up with some kitchen shears, some crushed up corn flakes, some milk, a couple of eggs, flour, garlic powder, paprika, and some salt and pepper. Then for the sauce that goes on after, you use three ingredients, that's it. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce, honey, and then ketchup. I'll also be making roasted potatoes this night. So for the prep work, that's the first thing I did, cut up the chicken and the potatoes, and then I'll share the potato recipe after we finish the chicken. After I got everything chopped up, I put all of the chicken pieces into a bowl and mixed it with the flour. I didn't have quite a cup of flour. I used probably less than half, just enough to coat all of the pieces of chicken really good. And then in a separate bowl, I added all of the corn flakes, which was actually five cups of corn flakes crushed up lightly with some of the garlic powder. So I did half a teaspoon of garlic powder, fourth a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper all mixed together. Mix it up really good and then set that aside while I mix the other mixture together. It's just the two things that you're going to mix your chicken in, like dipping it in. So I mix the two eggs together with fourth a cup of milk, whisk it together really well, and then set up my little station of dippings. So I took the chicken, dipped it, and let all the excess fall off, and then dipped it in the cornflakes and set it on my baking pan. You would want to stick this in the oven on 400 for about 18 minutes, flipping it halfway through. And then once it was heated up, that is when I started on my sauce. For the sauce, that's just three ingredients. Like I said, it's fourth a cup of ketchup, fourth a cup of honey, and then three fourths a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. Mix that together in a small saucepan on medium heat for about six to seven minutes. I just left it like on low after that six or seven minutes until my chicken was out and the chicken came out really good. I put it in a bowl, poured the sauce right on top of it and served it immediately after it was done. It turned out amazing and still crunchy. You want to serve it immediately though because the longer that sauce just sits on it, it can get a little bit less crunchy, but overall it was delicious. Now for the potatoes that I also cooked that same night, I had cut up about six red potatoes and I actually parboiled them, which means I just boiled them on the stove for a good five minutes probably before I decided to cook them just so they would get a little softer on the inside to go along with the outside. And I um, coated those in some olive oil, did a ranch seasoning packet all over it, and then the rest of this bag of Parmesan cheese, tossed it together and that was it, stuck it in the oven at the same time that I did the chicken on 400 until I thought that they were done to our liking. At the end, I did put them on broil for just a few minutes to get them a little bit, some more color basically, and a little crunchy on the outside because that's how I like mine. And these tasted so, so good. We all loved them. They had such good flavor. You know how sometimes your potato can still taste like the ground? <laughs> well, these didn't taste like that. They tasted really good and had a lot of flavor. We got it all plated and served it with a bag of steam bowl broccoli and that was supper for this night. Highly, highly recommend this one. It was delicious.
The next night we did some good old beans and cornbread with a little bit of a twist. The cornbread was fried cornbread. I saw Sarah from Sarah's Realm here on YouTube. She made some in a recent video and it looked amazing and it really was. I probably didn't do it justice. Y'all, if you ha aren't already following her, I'll leave her um, link in the description box below because she posts some really good recipes and she's really close to a thousand subscribers and totally deserves it because her recipes are awesome so i will leave this recipe in the description box with her video so you guys can see it these are all the ingredients i'm using we've got self-rising flour cornmeal baking powder eggs buttermilk oil a little bit of sugar and some salt and my go-to pinto beans in a can that's just what we like so this is what we are having and i will show you how to make the cornbread we did cook it in a cast iron skillet so in a medium sized bowl, I added one cup of self-rising flour, one cup of cornmeal, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of sugar, and whisk that together around, or just mix it together really good. And then in a separate bowl, I added the other ingredients. In the second bowl, I mixed together um, three-fourths a cup of buttermilk with a third a cup of water and one fourth a cup of cooking oil. We'll use vegetable oil and mix that around together before adding it into the dry mixture. After that, we heated up our butter and vegetable oil mixture on the cast iron skillet. Then I just used a measuring cup and pretty much did it like pancakes, flipping it when I thought it needed to be flipped, and that was it. It was really simple. I'm just really bad at frying stuff. I didn't do it justice like she did, but we still loved it. Like all of us loved it, and Travis and me ate so many of these, it's not even funny perfect and then I also recently asked over on Instagram um, I'd posted this picture of the beans and cornbread what you guys put on it I always do ketchup and onions and crumble up some cornbread in it so let me know in the comments down below what you put on your beans if you even eat them at all The next night we had one of mine and Travis's favorites, which is cheeseburger quesadillas with some smiley fries on the side, which the kids love those. And we can always just make them a cheese quesadilla when we make these because they're not crazy about cheeseburger. Actually, Grant did end up eating these, which was awesome. So we got a pound of ground beef for that, some tortillas, our seasonings that we like to add in, which is onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, mustard, ketchup, and then the pickles on top. And also Worcestershire sauce, which isn't on here, as well as the cheese too. No, the Worcestershire sauce is there. I just couldn't see it. I'm going to help you guys. You're going to help us? Uh-huh. Okay. I want to help you. I want to help you. You want to help me too? Yeah. Okay. I want to This is one of those things that we make that we don't really measure. Well, Travis is clearly the one editing it. Um, so just do what you feel like you would do. I also did add some um, chopped up onions in here too. So Grant and him took on the task of sprinkling all of the goodies in it. After we got all of that mixed up, just spread it all out onto our tortilla, add all the extras that you want, any toppings that you would like. We did cheese and bread and butter pickles because I like the added sweetness on it and just, you know, cook it like a normal quesadilla. I'd love to hear what your all's favorite kind of quesadillas is. The boys love just plain Jane cheese quesadillas. This is one of our favorites. Last week we did the buffalo chicken. You can make quesadillas in so many different ways. It's awesome. We actually dipped this in some honey roasted barbecue sauce packets and then we had our smiley fries with it on the side. Great supper. For the next meal we did some like burrito bowls or maybe you call it taco bowls, whatever you want to call it. It was really really good and very filling. It's almost kind of like a taco bell power bowl. Um, but we did some laying ground beef and just cooked it like taco meat 
all the toppings, lettuce, red onion, sour cream, salsa, some rice, corn, black beans, and then had some Frito scoops on the side too to be able to dip it. First thing I did was dice up my onion and then moved on to cooking the ground beef. After I got the taco seasoning mixed in and cooked in it, I added about half of the can of corn and half can of black beans. I'm saving the rest for a different recipe, um, but I mixed that into it so it would get warm as well while I was waiting on my rice to cook. All that was left was to load everything into the bowl and I think I added a little too much because I got really, really full before I was even done. Um, these are all the toppings that I chose for mine and I tried to make it all pretty and line it up. Then I just covered it all up with the cheese and Fritos, but it still tastes so good and I mix it up anyway before I eat it. So this was just trying to be fancy and I ain't fancy, but this is what we ended up having for supper this night. Hey guys, just real quick, I wanted to mention a couple of fun things that I've got going on that I'm excited about. So the first thing is the giveaway that's currently going on on my channel for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Again, thank you guys so much for your support of our channel and it just means the world to me. But if you haven't entered into the giveaway yet, it was um, posted in my grocery haul on Monday and it will be going through, you'll have a couple more days left um, until it's over. I'll be drawing that on Sunday. The, I have it written down here so I wouldn't forget. Um, I'll be drawing that on the 21st when I get my next set of groceries for the week and then announce it on the 22nd in the grocery haul on Monday. So you have a couple more days. This video is being posted on Friday, like usual, and then the grocery haul will be on Monday. Um, to enter in, it's super simple. You just gotta be subscribed and then comment to the um, question that I ask in the end of that video. Didn't want you guys to miss out on that because I know that's a little different than my What's For Dinner videos, but still wanted to give you guys a chance to enter the giveaway. It's pretty cool. I was excited about it. So the second thing I wanted to talk about, not all of you will probably be interested in it and that's okay, I totally get it. I just wanted to mention it on here briefly. I won't be talking about it a lot. I just wanna let you guys know about something that I love and I've signed up to do and I will be starting a whole second channel for that and just wanted to invite you guys to join me along in that too if you want. So I actually signed up to be a Pampered Chef consultant. I don't know how many of you guys have heard of that brand or maybe you've heard of it and loved it like I have by the time this video is up, hopefully, hopefully, I have that channel up too. Probably nothing posted yet, but I've got some videos in the works for that. Um, I plan on sharing over there like the whole ins and outs of Paper Chef, why I started, and like all the stuff that I will be getting. I'll probably do an unboxing of my um, starter kit, <laughs> that's what it's called, starter kit, and then also share recipes like normal, so there will be recipes over there. Just over on that channel, it'll be all centered around Pampered Chef stuff. So I'll be probably reviewing products and doing demos and that sort of thing, plus using those products in recipes. It won't affect this channel at all. I'll still be posting regular What's For Dinner videos and grocery hauls and all the extras that I throw in there too. This will just be on top of that. I've actually loved their products for a long time. Like I've got a couple sitting here that I've had. I would love to do a video of like my favorite kitchen products, Pampered Chef or not, um, because there's so many more that I want for Pampered Chef. But there's also products that I love that aren't Pampered Chef. Maybe you guys could let me know if you'd want to see one of those. But a couple of them is the spreader. It's double-sided to get the stuff out of jars easily and then spread it with this. I use this almost every day. Um, might even could use a second one to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely love it and it goes in the dishwasher. And then my can opener, I've got several other things. I just didn't want to pull it all out. You get what I'm saying. I love Pampered Chef. I know it's not for everybody, but if you're interested in it, want to host a party to earn free products over on Facebook or Instagram, you can contact me over there. Or just want to go ahead, like if you already love it, um, I'll leave my shopping link in the description box. I actually mentioned this bar pan in a recent video, like the breakfast video, like I was saying, and I joked around about starting Pimper Chef, but then I actually had a couple people message me about it, and it got me even more excited because I've actually always kind of like in the back of my head, like would have loved to if I wasn't scared, but I've always been scared to start stuff because it makes me nervous like YouTube. It took me years to start, and then I wish I would have started sooner, and so Pimper Chef, I've wanted to start a long time too and just haven't, so. 
I did it. If it doesn't work out and I end up not enjoying it, then it's not a big um, loss because when it's starting up, I just had to pay for my kit and that's actually worth a lot more than I actually paid for it. And then for the first three months, you don't have to even pay for any website fees, which are really cheap anyway. So I thought if nothing else, I will try it out for a few months and see where it goes. And if I still enjoy it, I'll keep doing it. And if not, I got a lot of products for a lot cheaper than they were. I probably will hardly ever mention it over here because that's just not what this channel's for. And I don't want to change that. I get that you guys are here for what you're here for, the what's for dinner videos and grocery hauls and don't want to take that away, take anything from that. So if you want to continue supporting me over there on the Pampered Chef channel, it will be, I haven't decided completely on a name yet, but I will leave it in the description box below for you guys. But enough rambling, you can clearly tell I'm passionate about this and I love it. But I will see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye y'all.